All right, good morning and welcome to Tuesday, um, March 31st. So I want you to open up your binders to handwriting, lesson six. So this one, we're focusing on G's and Q's. So go ahead, start at each of these dots. Something I noticed in your work is that we have a lot of letters that are floating. So we got to make sure that it's touching this little bottom line. Do you see how it's touching right there? I need you to make sure that each letter is doing that. Um, so we're going to do G's, then we're going to do lowercase q's, then dog, then the word go. Okay, go ahead and do that, and then we'll move on to Bible, okay? Okay, so for this one, we're going to do a really quick worksheet, and then you get to watch the VeggieTales version of A Wise Man, okay? So go ahead and start. Um, you're going to need a pencil, and it says, Jesus told a story about two men. Each man, man built a house. Whom did Jesus say was a wise man? So you're going to finish the sentence by decoding it. So this is the code box here. And this word has a star. So then we go and we look for the one that has this kind of star. Okay, it looks like it's right here. So we would write here's, H-E-A-R-S. You wanna make sure it fits. Each letter should have its own little box here, okay? And so for each of these little code things, you're gonna have to go to the code box and figure out what word it is, all right? So go ahead and do that. When you are done, you may go to the description and click on the Bible link and you'll go ahead and go watch that video and then you can come back to my video later, okay? All right, so go ahead and go do that and then we'll come back for math. Okay, girls, let's do math. So Rhea and Celine, we're going to get started on chapter nine with lesson 9.1. So this is all about shapes. So right here, what I want you to do is I want you to draw some circles and then I want you to draw shapes that are not circles on this side, okay? It do, don't. Don't worry about the directions because we can't do that when we're not together. So just draw some circles and then some things that aren't circles. Then you're going to turn the page, okay? It's going to look like this. On that page, you're going to mark an X on all of the circles. So what is a circle? This is a circle. Is it a circle? No. Circles have to go all the way around like this, okay? So go ahead and mark an X on all the circles. And then we're going to move on to the next one. So for this one, it has this fun picture of somebody running, but I want you to color all the circles, okay? So go ahead and color these whatever color you want, but just the circles. Don't color the rectangles, don't color the squares, just the circles. Then we're gonna go to the back. It says, which shape is a circle? <laughs> which shape is a circle? So I want you to mark an X on the shape as a circle right here, okay? Then it says, draw to show what you know about circles. So I want you to draw some circles here, okay? And then we're gonna go on to 9.2. So 9.2, it says describe circles. Write your name on this one. Um, use your finger to trace around the circle. Talk about the curve, trace around the curve. So a circle is always going in a curve. It never goes straight in a circle ever. You're always doing a curve. So trace all the way around there, okay? And then we're gonna turn the page to this side. What do you see on this side? Another big circle. So go ahead and trace around that circle again, see how it feels. So you're always going in a curved motion, never a straight line. So color the object that's shaped like a circle. Is this a circle? Is this a circle? Or is this a circle? Color the one that's a circle and then we'll go to the next one. Okay. This right here, you can do if you have a paper clip at home. So if you have a paper clip at home, um, you can ask Nana to help you with this one. So you're gonna use a pencil and hold one end of a large paper clip on one of the dots and then place another pencil at the other end and you're gonna try to move, move it around to do a circle. So ask Nana to help you with this one. If you don't have a paper clip, just skip it and go to the back. So on the back, it says, I have a curve. What shape am I? So what shape has a curve that you know? Draw it right here. Okay, girls, um, it is time for phonics. So this is your worksheet right here, okay? I want you to cut out all of these little pictures and you're gonna glue them into the right section. 
this says GH is silent and this says GH says f. So remember, it's silent in the middle of the word and it says f at the end because it's no fun, it's no fair. They want to be in the front, right? So um, you can just go ahead and look at the word. Even if you can't sound the word out, that's okay. You can just look at where the GH is. Where's the GH here? At the end. So you know it's going to say f. Um, and this one, the GH is in the middle. So you know it's going to say nothing. Okay? So go ahead and glue those in either silent or okay? And then we'll come on back for our reading A to Z. Okay, you ready? So our reading A to Z today is going to need scissors, glue, and another piece of paper. So get a blank piece of paper. It could be construction paper. It could just be printer paper. Ask Nana for a piece of paper. Then you're going to cut all of these out and you're going to glue them in the right order that they happen in the book. So you're going to need your book as a reference, okay? Cut these all out and glue them in the order that they happen in the book. Open up your social studies books to page 42. It looks like this, okay? And it says, <clears throat> Lily's dad is a veteran. That means that he is a soldier who fought for our freedom. We honor veterans each November on Veterans Day. Write a thank you letter to a veteran. It says, dear veteran, thank you for, and then you need to write what you would like to thank veterans for. And then they have pictures right here of veterans in their uniforms. Okay. When you're done writing that little letter, just write a sentence of something that you could thank a veteran for. We're going to go to the next page. It says, we also honor soldiers who have protected our freedom each May on Memorial Day. On this day, we have parades and decorate floats with red, white, and blue. They have some pictures here of some Memorial Day parades, and they want you to draw a Memorial Day celebration. Use the colors red, white, and blue. So draw a picture of that right there, okay? When you're done, I would like you to go to Brain Pop and do the, net, the exercise that I have linked down below in the description, okay? All right, have a good day, girls. Bye.